So um, here are some of the initial thoughts that I get um, about this pedal. First, it is very difficult to use it in live situation unless you did some very serious initial setup and have maybe saved preferences um, for each song in each of the channels or um, um, is that what they called? I think so. Um, I'll give you an example. So say for example, I want to have, uh, this is something, something simple. So I go and change tempo to say something like 90 and say, um, and say, um, I want something more pop like, yeah. And I want it to be maybe 16 beats. There we go. So if I was to audition that and I listen to the intro and part one, and let's say, yep, that's exactly what I want. I'll stop it. So not something that you're necessarily going to be doing in live situation to hear, to just kind of taking quite um, long, but let's say, and press and hold to synchronize. So here is the song synchronized. And let's say for the first part, I messed up twice to stop it now so I messed up twice so I have a messed up track one and messed up track two one and two both messed up so how do I clear it well I could clear track one now by pressing and holding or if I held together with rhythm it wouldn't actually play just to raise it but I still have track two that remains recorded. So what would I do? Well, I could, like the manual says, go to track two by starting the whole thing. So here it is going. And to transition to track two, I would press and hold. So this is track two. And I would delete that by, actually, I would delete that by pressing rhythm and loop at the same time there so track two is empty now and then go back to track one and again delete that and so it seems to have recorded something anyways so let's delete it again now this is a unrealistic unrealistic thing to do in life um, performance so um, boss do offer to um, press enter that menu by pressing menu and right and change instead of right to clear clear target channel one and are you sure yes I'm sure so this is a lot of presses in live situation but the worst part of it is it's gone back and lost the beat I auditioned it lost the um, tempo that I've selected, it's gone right back to the track default as if I turned um, off and back on um, the unit uh, off and back on. So basically unusable in life scenario. Um, another thing I find, so say if we go back to 90. By the way, notice that um, I'm using my left hand. I'm a righty, but if I've got the guitar in my right hand, um, using my left hand means I can't see what the thing says. Um, so I would have to have it on my right. My setup usually is the looper is on the left, but there you go. So there we go, back to 90. Um, what was it? Pop, 16 beat. Okay, very good. So let's say I'll synchronize. Where it's synchronized. 
Let's try this. So I've got this loop um, and you can layer it, layer it if you like, say if you wanted to. Um, that kind of sucks, but that's all right. <laughs> It's enough for the purpose of the demo. Now, say if I wanted to solo over it. And then, let's say if I wanted to do the fill, which I thought was a great addition, and say if if I did the fill off tempo, notice that the tempo of the rhythm and the loop temporarily went out of sync. And right now it worked kind of fine, but I've seen it work terribly before. So say if I did it at like some weird timing, it seems to, especially if you have a long loop, it works fine in this case. Um, did some weird things for me before. Now, let's try to do, let's try to do a chorus part. Now, I just went back to track one, and it's given me a weird delay. And it's done the same before, and notice that this is the weird thing I was talking about before. I don't understand why this is happening. I don't know what I'm missing here. Um, and maybe I wasn't exactly in time, but I was hoping that I have a cheap looper and that corrects me this one so say if I wanted to transition back to track 2 let's see how that works not entirely sure but again it's a weird gap of blank and the whole thing is out of sync if I try it again, again, so I think it's because I'm transitioning at a point that's not in sync. And instead of waiting, it jumps straight to the transition. So, let me try. See, it corrects itself if I transition on time. So, when that red comes on, 
the last quarter. No, it goes back to, oh, maybe not. So it lost track two completely. See, that's weird to me. Where is it? Can't hear anything. And now track two is blinking. What does that mean? Was it not supposed to be there? Oh, look at that. Track two came back. <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's unacceptable for a live situation. That's not, that's not something that you can work with, you know? Looper too busy. So, and again, like, um, I mean, I understand there was a bass on the first track. There's no bass on the second track. I can't hear it. Oh, there we go. It's come back. Looper too busy again. Well, it's really just two layers on the first track and one layer on the second. What's there to be busy about? Oh, there we go, it's come back. It sorted itself out, it gets to the end of the phrase, and again, it's too busy. Yeah. So not acceptable. And if we go back to, again, weird gap. Oh, there we go. either got a lemon or and the thing is too like a lot of the songs will have yes two parts two parts is amazing and I've been really looking forward to that I use loop uh, I, I loop a lot but um, my hope was that you can stop it and then play a hook perhaps a lot of the songs have a hook I want to be able to stop it immediately. Now, if I press rhythm twice now, it will do an outro. Um, I'm not interested in an outro. I want it to stop. Just stop and let me do my hook. Ideally, I would stop the track and let the drums go on or have the option to stop both. But all right, let's see if I can stop just by pressing the loop button twice. So again, gives me the ending. Can't have it stop. Ideally, boss would do something about that. Give us the option to stop. Give us the option to stop the loop and stop um, and let the rhythm go on. Ideally, also would have an option to stop both loop and rhythm. Just stop everything. Uh, similar to how IC300 had a stop button. Just stop everything. And go on. It's just another button to go on. In this case, it would be maybe pressing both at once would stop everything. And maybe pressing them both at once would start it again. It doesn't sound to me like it's such a big ask. You don't have to change anything about the unit. You don't have to add buttons. But there we go. So that's my first impressions of RC. 10. Uh, I'm a lot less excited now than what I was when I first ordered it. There we go. Next time.